So this video is a continuation to my five top stock plugins videos that I made a couple of weeks ago. This video is five paid plugins. So the first plugin we're gonna look at, we're gonna take a look at the Waves CLA 76 plugin. So CLA stands for Chris Lord Algae. This is a fantastic plugin. I use this plugin all the time on my vocals and I use it a lot on snares. So it's not a difficult plugin to work with. You have your input, your output, your attack, your release, your ratio, your master, your analog, which I normally keep off. Then you have the blue face and you got the blackie. Those are hardware revisions. So next we're gonna look at an EQ. We're gonna take a look at Fab Filters Q2 plugin. So I wanna go ahead and take a look at some of the functions in this plugin. As you can see right off the top, you really can't see anything, but watch as I hover the mouse, you see that little point, and by double clicking, it's gonna create a low cut. Then you can also change the slope. It's all up to you how you wanna set this up. So let's take a look at some of the other features. You have bell. You have low shelf, high cut, high shelf, high cut, notch, band pass, and tilt shift. And the last thing we have frequency, gain, and Q. And that's my go to EQ, which is an amazing plugin and it sounds great. So we have another Fab Filter plugin. This one's called Pro DS. It's a DSer. This one made the list because I love that it's transparent. You don't really hear what it's doing. Compared to a lot of other ones, you put it right on top of the vocal and it just makes the vocal sound really weird, especially when you start pushing them. So let's take a look at these options here. We have Threshold, Range, Audition, Single Vocal, All Around, Wide Band, Split Band, and we have a Side Chain. Allows you to use another signal to control the DSer, And we also have a look ahead function, which is pretty cool. So now we're looking at our verb. Our verb is the first uh, reverb I've ever purchased. And originally it didn't make the list, but then at the last moment I decided, you know what, let's talk about this plugin. I use this plugin a lot and I know it pretty well. Here's how I use this plugin. And I do this with a lot of other plugins as well. I create multiple aux channels I put the plugin across those aux channels and then I route them to separate places. So I'll have one for the lead vocals, I'll have one for the ad libs, for the snare, and so on. Reason I do that, I don't like to keep one particular reverb for the whole entire session. So you have to experiment. But besides that, it's a great plugin and it has great templates. Please look at the templates, they're made by professionals that know the plugin and they sound great. And then from there, you can modify them and create your own template. So we have another Waves plugin. We're looking at the Waves H delay. So I use this plugin exactly the same way as the previous plugin. I create a couple of aux channels. I spread the plugin across those aux channels and I route them to different things. I think it's pretty pointless to have one copy of this plugin across your whole session. It can work, don't get me wrong. You may want different things to happen in different parts of the session. So here's an example. I was mixing a hip hop track for a friend. He had a track that was sound effects only. He made those sound effects with his mouth. I panned them hard left. Then I used the plugin to bring out the effect, but only on the right side of the headphones. And it sounded pretty cool. Just give it a try and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here's an example of the effect. And it might not work on every single track. So in this video, I wanna talk about Pro Tools 12.5. It's finally here. It showed up on my account a couple of hours ago. Pretty surprised. It's supposed to be released on the 31st, so I don't know, I guess it's 